We're going to explore creating a multiple layered background that has a gradient and a photo layered background. And the same technique involving multiple backgrounds and gradients can also be applied to columns and box modules. So let's go ahead and get started by creating a two column row. And we're just going to open up the row settings here by clicking on this wrench icon. And we're going to set both the container and content areas to full width and the height to full height. This is going to give us a container that covers up our full page. Now we can get started on our row background down here in the backgrounds tab. And let's just pause for a moment to see the types of backgrounds available for rows because Rose, do you have the most options when it comes to types of backgrounds? We can do multiple backgrounds and we can do backgrounds with gradients on top of box modules and columns. But when it comes to things like video backgrounds and parallax backgrounds, those are only available for rows. We're going to start by opening up the multiple backgrounds dialog. And now we can go ahead and select our image and image settings. Now here's a quick look at what our image settings look like. Now let's set up our gradient on top of this image. Now the gradient is going to be covering up the left side of the page with a dark color, leading to transparency over the woman's face. So I'll just pick out a dark indigo color. Over here on the left and on the right, I am going to select transparent. Now by default, this linear gradient is horizontal, but I can make it vertical by selecting 90 degrees. Now let's just fine tune the placement of the gradient a little bit. And we'll just pop in some content here over the background to finish up this demo. And if you look out for this, you can find this design trend all over the place on video streaming platforms. Often there will be something like a video wall with different show thumbnails that leads to a gradient. Well, I'm just going to speed along through this section, adding the text. And I think that's about all for this lesson. Hope you found this demo helpful and thanks so much for watching. Bye.